5 Important Facts About Timgad Number 5. Timgad, the Roman city frozen in time. Timgad, often referred to as the Pompeii of Africa, was built as a perfect example of Roman town planning. Like a modern blueprint, the city is very precisely laid out, with perfectly aligned streets and buildings arranged in a grid pattern. Located at the crossroads of major trade routes, Timgad served as an important commercial hub in the Roman Empire. Despite the centuries, the city remains remarkably preserved, an unparalleled archaeological treasure. Number 4 The Birth of Timgad, Rome's Strategic Masterpiece in the Desert Timgad was founded in 100 AD by the Emperor Trajan, as a military colony on a previously uninhabited site. It served to ensure the Roman control over the region. Timgad was not only a statement of power, but it was also a reward for Roman veterans who had completed their service. These soldiers, now turned settlers. They were given plots of land in this new city, creating a community rooted in loyalty to Rome. Number 3. The Library of Timgad, a treasure trove of ancient knowledge. The Library of Timgad is believed to have housed up to 3,000 scrolls, making it one of the largest libraries in Roman Africa. With a length of 25 meters and a width of 23 meters. This was a place where scholars, poets, and philosophers gathered, where the hum of intellectual discourse filled the air. The library was not just a storage place for scrolls, but a center of knowledge and culture. Number 2. Timgad's Triumphal Arch, a Gateway to Glory. The Triumphal Arch, called the Arch of Trajan, stands proudly at the western entrance to Timgad. The inscription on the attic records the foundation of the colony on the part of Trajan in the year 100. The arch itself was built later, between the later 2nd century and the early 3rd century long after the death of Emperor Trajan, the founder of Timgad. Number 1. Timgad's Fall and Rediscovery, From the Vandal Sacking to a 19th Century Resurrection Once a thriving Roman military colony, Timgad faced its darkest hours in the 5th century, when the city was sacked by the Vandals, a wild Germanic tribe. But the city's misfortune didn't end there. Later, Berber tribes, long-held adversaries of Roman authority, dealt the final blow, effectively ending Timgad's role as a bastion of Roman culture. Timgad was rediscovered in the 19th century by French archaeologists, leading to extensive excavations.